practice exercise 2 fundamentals of algebra question 26 find the maximum and the minimum values for the function for all real values of x now let's look at this function x square minus x plus 1 and try to understand the nature of this function okay. now for all real values of x x square will be greater than x okay. that means the numerator will always be positive so numerator will always be positive because x square minus x will be a positive number plus 1 will be a positive number. Similarly, x square plus x plus 1 will also be positive. So I can straight away say this expression has to be a positive number. That means the, both the maxima as well as the minima or the maxima and minimum value of this expression have to be positive. Hence, choice A and choice B are incorrect because they are giving me negative value. Similarly, choice G is incorrect because it is giving me a negative value. Oh, choice E is also incorrect. Correct answer, choice C. Okay. Had there been more cases, then I would have said, let me take a value of x. Okay. For example, if I take a value of x as 0, the value of the expression becomes 1. Okay. So I would have then, if there were more choices in which both the numbers were positive, then I would have substituted values of x into the expression and then tried to eliminate choices. Now, just to complete the process, if I put x equal to 1, if I put x equal to 1, the expression would become 1 minus 1 plus 1 in the numerator and denominator 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal to 1 by 3. If I put x equal to 2, the expression would be 2 to the 4, 4 minus, okay, 2 square is 4 minus 2 plus 1 and denominator will be 4 plus 2 plus 1 which is equal to 2 minus 1 is the uh, Sorry, 4 plus 1, 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 upon 6, 7. 3 upon 7. Now, 1 by 3 is less than 3 by 7. Or in other words, as I am increasing the value of x from 1 to 2, the value of the function is increasing. So, my minimum value would be then 1 by 3. Okay. So, similarly, you could check out for the highest value also.